If you're anything like me, you've probably suffered a very sore lower back from a day's diving due to your weight belt pushing on your spine in an unnatural way. You've probably even got yourself one of these fancy weight vests to stick across your back to help fix the problem. However, sticking plates of lead straight down across your spine is not very comfortable. The solution is in this bag. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel Mann. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most comfortable weight vest that you can possibly wear on your body. Now, why would you want to wear a weight vest over your traditional weight belt? Well, this is nice and simple. It works, it's easy to drop in an emergency. But if you're diving some colder waters, your wetsuit's going to be thicker. You're going to need more lead to get down. These things fill up. If you're like me, your waist isn't particularly large. I can fit about six kilos on this belt before it's full and it I just don't have any more room around my waist. So I need to add weight another way, which is through a weight vest. If weight vests are more comfortable, why wouldn't you just wear one of those instead of a belt? Well, if you have one just on your chest, you tend to float up at the rear, your legs get very buoyant and it's kind of hard to stay on the bottom. If you have a little bit on your belt and then some more on your chest, your body weight is distributed a little bit more evenly and it's easier to stay on the bottom and hunt fish. Most weight harnesses or weight vests will come with square pockets for the weights like this. You can stick in your typical dive weights like this inside those pockets, or more commonly you will see flat lead bars that look a lot like this, apart from the fact that this is made of wood, but just a very similar shape thing that goes into all those pockets. And they run straight down the spine of you, which is just not very comfortable when you've got a solid plate rubbing up against your spine, so that kind of defeats the purpose of it being really comfortable. Enter the soft bag of lead shot. Yeah, it's the exact same stuff you'll find inside a shotgun shell for shooting birds like pheasants, partridge, and grouse. You can buy lead shot from a lot of gun suppliers without a gun license if you just say that you're using it for making your own dive weights or ballasting things. It's pretty common to be used for other things other than killing birds. You can't just pour the lead shot straight into the weight vest. You have to make it into little pouches. I made these out of Lycra many, many moons ago because I am quite handy on a sewing machine. For those of you that aren't so handy on a sewing machine, this is your get out of jail free card right here. Yeah, Lycra socks. Easy way to do this, sock on hand, grab a handful. Lead inside sock if you need some more. load it up a bit. You can weigh these if you really want to, but I don't. Not. Cut. Grab the next sock on the hand. Another knot. And there's your flat lead sausage weight that goes inside your weight vest. They do take a little bit of coercing to get inside the pouches, but use gravity and a bit of jiggling and they'll get in eventually. Bosh, job done. Here's one I prepared earlier. As you can see, it's very soft, it's very supple. It molds around your spine very nicely, super comfortable to wear. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you on the next one.